Welcome to, to Fright Fest. You must be very excited, both of you. Yeah, massively. I mean, I'm a huge fan, and I, I kind of I, I come every year as a fan, and this is my second film that's you know screened at Fright Fest. So last year I was here as a as a punter, and this year I'm here with a film. So you know, it's it's fantastic to kind of be able to experience both sides of the fence. Like, well, it's, it's, we here is as, uh, very awesome. I'm from Chile. So it's my second time in London, and my second time in Fright Fest. My first time for four years ago, my movie here in the good. So. It's, it's very cool uh, back here. And you've got a very cool concept to a story, haven't you? Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's, it's crazy, you know? Um, it's a crazy movie. It's a crazy movie. And I think, like, we just were, we were trying to mix genres and, and do something different, uh, you know, literally just throwing things into a blender and going, like, just going for broke. And, and I think with Patricio, he had the initial idea, and I was like, yeah, I like the setting. Let's go for it. Let's, let's have fun with it. And... Um, you know, he, he, the, the investor behind the movie was literally just like, okay, what's the idea? Uh, and he was like, we told him the idea, and he was like, okay, no problem. Yeah, he signed off the budget, go make your movie. So real, Patricia had 100% sort of creative control and final cut, so, so it was great to sort of be able to just do something uh, and, and just kind of throw caution to the wind. And that story starts with a couple of cyclists, doesn't it, that find a, find a man uh, in a car and they rescue him from an accident. Yeah, yeah, this is the story, but we make this story become more like a death metal song. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a fan, Mike Patton fan Thomas. So yeah, yeah. it's very weird movie. I'm very happy to the total finish movie. Yeah. So it's like, like a downhill. It's like about a cycle. No, what's it? Yeah, but, but yeah, and that's it. I mean, I think. But, it's probably a good analogy, like a death metal song, because you have like a nice little intro, and then you have like a you know maybe a, a melody in the middle, and then blah, 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 just straight into the craziness like at the end. So yeah, all movies shot in Chile, so this is too gay. Yes, in Chile, I yeah. am from Chile, and the, but in English, uh, the movies in English, mm. so good. Yeah, and and the funny story is uh, Patricia and I have you know been working together for a couple of years now. Uh, we, we've done three movies together. And we communicated only over uh, Facebook and, and email. And this Friday is the first day we've met. L yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> like Tinder, like Tinder. <laughs> That's it. It's like we made three movies and we literally have like forged this really close like friendship via the wonders of, uh, you know, social media. And, and, uh, and this is, you know, this weekend we actually finally got to meet each other. Yeah, so it's cool. It's really cool, and hopefully we'll continue to see you both more at Fright Fest. Thank as you well. very much. So, can I start by asking you what, what was it about the story when you read it that made you want to invest into it and give it, commit to it? Um, well, first of all, I knew the writer already. I worked with him on the movie called Nymph, which was actually screened here about two years ago now. So, uh, you know, I trusted his writing. I uh, researched the director. I've seen some of his work, and he's got a different kind of uh, style of directing, which kind of what I was looking for when I read the script, because the script is so different and so dark and, and uh, satanic and, and just, you know, different. I was like, wow, it has to be shot well, different, or it's not going to work. It could end up being very, you know, funny and not real, not realistic or whatever, you know. And uh, yeah, and so when I researched the director, I thought, well, I think he can do the job. My character is very physical and I love physical roles. Uh, that was a challenge. And I was like, all right, physical role, horror movie, uh, kind of like a Cronenberg style, the fly makeup and uh, satanic ritual. Hmm. Yes, I think uh, I'm going to go to Chile and Chile, where it's going to be extremely freezing and I'm going to be running around with my bare feet and a tiny white dress. Of course, why wouldn't I say no to that? <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, it's interesting with the role being physical, because you're, you're cyclists, aren't you? Is that, is that right? And, um, and then I imagine you've got a certain amount of preparation for that. And then, then the, this, this, it takes you on a completely different journey, doesn't it? Yeah, I would imagine ex would, would ex you would expect to have a different kind of physicality expected from mm. you. No, f definitely. Like when the director contacted me, he asked me if I'm physical, and I was like, yes, that's my forte. That's what I'm known for. I do my own stunts, and I prepared physically before shooting the film. Of course, I trained, you know, every day. 
And uh, mentally, I was like, all right, so I'm going to do my own stunts. Whatever is asked from me, I'm going to do my best and hopefully I won't get hurt. So I went in there knowing already, prepared that this is what I'm going to be doing. And that's what I like. I, I like. I like challenging my body as well as my, you know, my acting and my mind. So it's fun. The, the, your, the environment for an actor is so important. So how much did it benefit you being and shooting in, in Chile? How did that help inform you and your character? Oh, a lot. I, I often become the character when I get on set because that's when you're really put on, you know, a certain costume and you're like, oh, now I'm this character. And, uh, and the environment that we were shooting in, we were living like basically right there. And the crazier the script be 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 became, the crazier the situation and my character became, and me myself. So it really does affect you, especially if you don't, you never leave the character. You kind of become that, uh, that madness is always following you which was, it, it was fun. I mean, we had so many different things happen um, that it just, it fed the, the, the film more, which is great because then you can see on screen that we had that family kind of like uh, relationship happening and we were like one person. We were like developing and, and researching and finding things while we were shooting. Yeah, a journey to go on. And yeah. Also journey to come over here for Fright Fest. Uh, and your second year? LA. And how do you, how are you finding it here? Oh, I love it. My uh, my mom lives here. I grew up in London. I was at the Royal Ballet before. I was a ballerina here before I moved to LA to become an actress. So I feel like home. That's why I was like, oh, I definitely want to come and support my movie, especially at Fright Fest. I mean, this is like the dream come true. You know that your movie is in the movie theater. You know, this is when you are as an actress, you're like, oh, okay, good. So this is what I was doing that for. Like that whole madness, now it makes sense. All right, let's do it again. <laughs> you know, because when you were shooting, you're like, oh my God, <laughs> what am I doing this? For? What am I doing? Like when you're like cold and you're like, and you're literally like, I remember I was holding the, the knife in my hand and I, I remember like after certain takes, I could not like undo my knuckle. Like it was just so cold. I was like, oh my God, I can't feel my hand. That's it, it's gone. So yeah, but but you know, this is then you're gonna watch the movie. You're like, oh, now I get it. This is it. This is what we're doing this for. This is the glamour part, part of this <laughs> beautiful profession. <laughs> not glamorous at all. <laughs> no, <laughs> do not become an actor. <laughs>